So today, as many of you know, we have rental properties and we have mobile homes, houses, and apartments. And today what we're going to show you is some of the ideas that we've picked up over the years for mobile homes specifically that help make them somewhat almost indestructible and also prevent long-term maintenance. So we're going now to a mobile home that we we're just finished the remodel. Honestly, it took me a lot longer than it should have taken, which seems to always be the case. But this mobile home, we spent a lot of money on it to get it right. It was in terrible shape before we started. We bought this mobile home along with four others on this uh, one acre parcel. So it's a little five acre, small little mobile home park. And I want to show you a few things that we've done on this one mobile home that might help you save some money and also make your rentals more um, almost indestructible if you're gonna keep them that way. So let's go check it out. property and as I mentioned earlier it's five mobile homes on one acre of land and the one here in the very middle is what we're going to focus on today. I know some people have this stigma calling investors that have properties that aren't absolute top-notch slumlords and so some of you may not particularly care for mobile homes. I think there's lessons to be learned for everyone in this property. But what I say to people who get upset when somebody calls them a slum or lord is I say, hey, at least they're calling you a lord. So um, that's kind of how I look at it. As you'll see, there's some nice things you can do and you can give somebody a nice property to rent, even if it is something like a mobile home. So why don't we go check out and I'll share a couple of ideas that we've um, put into this property here. Let's come on inside and check out some of these ideas we have to share with you. So the first thing I want you to look at is the floors. And I got this idea from another investor who owns about 50 mobile homes kind of in this area of town. And he was having a problem with finding reasonable flooring for mobile homes. And so that coupled with, I've only been sued twice since I've been in business 21 years. And one time the guy said he fell down some stairs, the handrail was bad on his duplex, wasn't bad. We won that lawsuit, he didn't get a penny. The other time that was legit is that the guy was in a mobile home and his freezer, his deep freeze had been leaking and it had rotted the floor out and he fell through the floor and hurt his legs. That was legit, we lost that one. I had to pay the $500 liability deductible and the liability company uh, fought, the, fought the claim. Side note, that's why you must have liability insurance. This guy was suing us, I believe it was for $80,000, and I didn't have to hire an attorney. I simply had to pay the deductible when we lost the case. The insurance company, they had their whole team of lawyers fighting this thing. Ended up, I believe the guy got about $2,000. So anyways, this is another reason why I do this type of flooring. You can see here that what we've done is, in mobile homes, the flooring is really, I call it just souped up cardboard, is what generally comes into mobile homes. And so what we do is when we buy a mobile home, is we take out that flooring, or we go on top of the flooring with this plywood, 5 8 inch plywood. And then we go through and we fill the cracks with wood filler, fill the screw holes with wood filler, and then polyurethane, anywhere from two, three, sometimes four or five coats. It really shines up nice, Tenants in this price range like it. It's almost like they have wood floors, and it makes it so that nobody's gonna fall through this wood floor. You're good, you don't have to worry about that lawsuit. So for those two reasons, well, number one, it is expensive. This, this plywood goes for about $30 a sheet. You have to pay for the polyurethane and the labor to do it. But once you do it, you're done. 20, 30, 40, even 50 years, you're good. Every once in a while, you may have to go in and sand 
when a tenant moves out and just lightly sand it one time and then do a whole coat of poly on the whole house. But that's it. So basically indestructible floors, nobody's gonna fall through it. I love it. All right, let's go check out the kitchen. I wanna show you something else we've done with plywood. So as you can see here in the kitchen, Another thing I don't like about, we, we buy our supplies from Lowe's, they're not paying me, uh, but we've used them for over two decades, is the cabinet quality you get from Lowe's or Home Depot. To me, it's just not good. And it's expensive. This is stuff that falls apart, tennis wear and tear, you have kids hanging on the doors, it's not gonna last. So what we started doing is just building our own. For about $100 or less, you can buy a piece of plywood, build your own two by fours. Are they the most beautiful thing? No. Would you put them in a $200,000 house? No, you wouldn't do that. But they're indestructible. They're made of plywood. They're never going to fall apart. They'll last again in 20, 30, 40, 50 years. So that's something else we've done to make our rental units indestructible. And it gives the tenant a nice, strong, structurally sound rental unit to be in. One other idea I want to share with you, and we didn't do on this mobile home, but the first mobile home park I ever bought was in a really bad area. It was 166 lots. It had, if I remember right, about 100 mobile homes in it, and there were about 15 that were occupied. The other 85 had been stripped of wires, plumbing, everything. And so we bought that park. We had to think of a way to prevent the thieves, because this is in the middle of the recession, prevent the thieves from just going in and ripping the wires off the wall. So we did do it on this one, but we did something a little similar to this one, but crime is, is a non-issue in this area we're at now. But what we did in that mobile home park was a bad area. We actually put OSB or plywood on the walls and painted it. So you, the tenant had no idea, or a potential thief had no idea that it was uh, plywood until they went there to rip the wire out and the wire wouldn't budge. So if you're in a bad area, you're in a mobile home park, I know I've seen videos on YouTube of people that buy mobile home parks in really rough areas. If that's the case and you worry about your wires getting stolen, you may consider that. This mobile home we got it. This, this mobile home was destroyed. A tree had fallen to the, the ceiling here. And so we got it down to studs, uh, some new studs in here, new insulation in the entire mobile home, uh, new electrical wiring, our, our electrician, the running wiring, the whole thing. Basically a brand new home. We spent a lot more than we wanted to, but as you can see, a nice home home. It'll be a nice home for somebody. So let's check out the master. You see again, we've done the wood floors throughout the entire mobile home. And then you have your master closet. And this master bathroom is the same thing. We had some old cabinet doors we used. So we cut the cabinet doors, but the cabinets themselves are built out of plywood and two by fours. So those are a couple of ideas on some of the things that I've done on mobile homes on the outside of this home that had actually cedar wood siding. Let's go check out the outside and we'll see what we've done on the outside. Alright, so let's check out the siding out here, the face and the soffit. I want to show you what we've done out here. So one thing with rental houses, the more you have, especially if they're wood frame houses, you don't want to be painting those houses every five years. You get 10, 20, 50, 100, 200 houses. And you'll, you'll have a whole crew painting nonstop, and we don't want that. So I want to show you what we did here. This, this mobile home had cedar siding on it, which is a problem. The, the uh, beetles or the bees, whatever it is, those guys love to drill those things. So we went in here and we put this hardy plank siding and painted it. That siding holds that paint really well. Also our windows, our metal windows, again, we don't worry about painting them. We don't worry about them rotting. Our face should stop and actually the guys didn't do exactly what I wanted here. Our, our part of our, our shop in here, it is the hardy plank siding. They put wood here, which I didn't want, but I don't want to undo it. So I wish they would have put the, the siding there, in which case we'd have an outside of this mobile home, which will need no upkeep, except of a paint job every once in a while and pressure washing or soft washing at all. So those are some of the ideas that I've picked up over the past couple decades, and hopefully they'll be things that you can use. So until next time, happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.